Hello, everyone, and welcome to Burn the Ship, the podcast that inspires entrepreneurs to go all in on their business, and we connect them with the business owners that can help them get there. Today, we have a special guest. We have Miss Wanda Pearson. She is with Legal Shield, but she has so much stuff going on. Won't you tell us a little bit about it? Oh, my God, Roger. Thank you so much for having me back on Burn the Ship, MP yes. Group. Yes. Um, I am so excited. I, You know, when I retired from IBM after 36 years, I brought my corporate as well as my social work background into doing Legal Shield as our business. So what I do, I, I got out in the community, helping people you know, get connected with the, our legal uh, shield and small business. But what I've been doing is actually, God has been taking me to different levels that I never knew that I would get to. So you know how you say, I never do never, I never say never, mm -hmm. I never do never. Mm -hmm. But he said, oh yes, you will. <laughs> and he has just talked about, brought me into being able to be an author now. Awesome. Um, an author, uh, my first one, actually, I always say uh, Audacity to Shine. Audacity to Shine, let's show them there. Yes, Audacity to Shine is one of my books, and it's actually on my website as well, as well as another book that I had collaboration on, um, The Impact of One Voice. Okay. Now I'm writing my own story from the Audacity to Shine. Um, that's uh, my triumph to, uh, and I always forget the name of it, but it's my own third book that I actually have, and I have in the description as far as that. I'm writing that. That should be out in 2023. So mm -hmm. I have a book club now okay. that I'm doing this on my website. But also what he has brought me to the next level of my life is helping small businesses because that's always been my desire when I left IBM. I need to help small businesses. But families is always my passion. Okay. Making sure you got your well done. Make sure you got your estate planning done. Mm -hmm. But now it's about creating my own W.D. Pearson Associates, which I have created, uh, LLC. And what I'm doing now is actually uh, a new marketing to help small businesses to get set up the right way. Mm -hmm. So I call it a 5M system, a 5M method. So 5M method. 5M method, okay. which is meeting of the marvelous minds, mindset, passion, your passion. I always ask people, what is your passion? How do you get, you know, the business you're in, is that something that you want to be in for the rest of your life? Do you wake up and jump out the bed and say, oh, I got my business here? Mm -hmm. So that's something that I actually coach them with as well as measurable goals. you got to have goals, smart goals, right? Uh, mind your store. How are you going to um, – what resources do you have? How are you going to finance that business and legally finance that? And that's where my, my services come in as well. And the marketing. Okay. How are you going to get your cl uh, clients? So with that, that is uh, something that I uh, just – well, I didn't just, but I've been doing it all alone. Right. But I consolidated it to really do that 5M method that um, I, I'm actually on YouTube. I have okay. several videos to actually help you get to that step and just connect with me. And, and where on YouTube, what's the channel name? Uh, WD Pearson Associates. WD Pearson. WDP. Yeah, WDP. WDP. Pearson, yeah. Okay. Pearson Associates. You'll see me on there. Okay. Now, you know, with Burn the Ship, the purpose of what we do this for is to help our entrepreneurs along their journey. Mm -hmm. Now, you just share with us five different ways. Mm -hmm. Can we dive into one of those that yes. you can uh, share with us about that maybe they can hear your story and it yeah. can help them get over the hump which one would you like to talk about well the one about um, the meeting of the marvelous minds so a lot of times we are stuck in our mind our mindset right we don't know what we want to do so you get your business uh, it can be brick and mortar home-based business but is it really what you want to do so I really kind of talk with them and say, and I'm going to bring it into my other uh, thing as far as the passion. The passion, which I'm, I'm passionate about anyway as far as helping people, uh, to be able to be successful. Now, a lot of times in my experience, I did my own LLC. I didn't realize that Legal Shield can do the LLC, but an attorney does everything. Mm -hmm. I made mistakes. So for my mistakes, I want to make sure that you don't make mistakes. So I help a lot of people. I actually already helped a lot of people get their LLCs. <laughs> which include our membership with the home-based business or brick and mortar. So helping them um, be successful in their business uh, to get there. How do I get, um, you know, get the finances and also do uh, helping people get their finance, get uh, uh, loans to another company that I'm with. So I partner with a lot of different people. Okay. Everything that I'm doing, I take them to that level. And if it's something that I need to bring one of my partners in, 
then I bring my partner in to help them to be that successful small business. Okay. Yeah. It seems like you help them to actually build a foundation or a structure. Absolutely. Uh, a lot of yeah. times these business owners are great at whatever it is they're due. So mm-hmm. let's just say they're an electrician. Right. So they're great at doing the wiring aspects of things. But when it comes to, mm-hmm. all right, how do I make sure that I have my taxes in order or make sure that Absolutely. I have my marketing in order? Mm-hmm. They don't really know those things. And that's yes. what you're doing with your, your, Absolutely. your new business. Absolutely. Absolutely. Being in compliance. Okay. Yes, yeah, definitely getting that structure together because like I put, you know, like I said, the LLC, making sure you got the right structure. We may mm-hmm. not have the right structure. You may say, oh, I already have this. But let me tell you, when you actually uh, have your own business, especially if you're doing a home-based business, you definitely need to separate your business from your home. Okay. Because the IRS can come and take everything that you have. Oh, okay. Right? Okay. So, yeah, so making sure they're in compliance as far as their taxes. Uh, you know, you'll find a lot of accounts that say, do you have your LLC? So having that in place makes a big difference as far as being successful, but also to make sure that you got everything lined up. Okay. Okay. Now I want to go back into the mindset part, because mm-hmm. again, having the structure of the business, totally understand that. Mm-hmm. Um, when I have talked to a lot of business owners, you know, they're always looking at, oh, this is going to be bad or, or, mm-hmm. or things aren't uh, looking good. We can use from COVID to now mm-hmm. inflation, you know, it's mm-hmm. always those, oh, woe is me type things. What yeah. are some of the things that you do to help keep a positive mindset going through the business? Well, I, I talk to, I talk through people through their, their, their journey, what they're doing. And a perfect example actually is my husband who had his business for 25 years before we moved here to Atlanta. It was not easy for him. Mm-hmm. You know, he has his ups and downs. So we're going to have our ups and downs. Everything's not going to be perfect. But just sticking with it to, to be able to get through those rough times. I mean, I always say we always have trials and tribulations, but mm-hmm. you have that tribulation to get through to help you uh, to be successful in there. So I want to, I encourage people. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I make sure that, they, and I just I actually had a client that I just signed up and she said, well, I you know, I retired, but sometimes I don't feel like doing anything. Well, I, I feel the same way. <laughs> you know, I want to sit on the couch and go look at Hallmark movies. Yes, and, you know? yes, yes. But I know in, in the end, you know, in order to be successful and to have my legacy, our legacy, mm-hmm. you have to think about your future, well, how you can make your business grow, right? how you can create your own business, how you can uh, get to the next step. So that's why I'm there. I mean, that's why I guess that social work God put me into. Mm-hmm. I try to encourage people. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's a good thing because I was just having a conversation with someone before uh, we got together today, Mm -hmm. and they were talking about how the thing that a lot of people stop, Mm -hmm. you know, like they hit that bump, and then they stop. Yeah. And then we we came to the consensus that uh, successful people, mm-hmm. they just never stop. Yeah. You know, it's one of those things where, hey, I might have taken this loss or this may have happened. Yeah. Something totally out of my control happened. Yeah. But the biggest difference for those people who are, are successful is they just didn't stop. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. it seems like that encouragement that you share with those small businesses Absolutely. can Absolutely. help them to continue to go. Well, I'm going to tell you, well, one of the things that actually made me not want to stop. When I retired from IBM, um, I, I didn't have the age, you know, but I had the years. But when I went to visit my father mm-hmm. and my father uh, was a regional sales manager for Gillette and Miles Laboratories, and he was always my hero. So when I saw him in the nursing home with dementia and I looked at him and I said, oh, God, that, that hurt because I'm daddy's little girl. I understand. That hurt me so bad um, that I knew when I came back and he died right before I got home. Okay. So that was another bump here. That's when I got into BNI. Mm-hmm. BNI showed me how to network. Mm-hmm. Well, when they showed me how to network, I started getting out there, and I didn't stop. I right. just been actually. I was just telling the young lady. I said I didn't stop because I thought about what he went through. Because when you stop, it, it, that bump in the road, mm-hmm. you don't want to go back. Mm-hmm. So you mm-hmm. don't want to stop. You want right. to keep going because you know it's something else that God has planned for you. Yes, that is going to be able to uh, to help you grow to get you the next step, and that's actually. What you said, we, it's just a test. Mm-hmm. It's a test to go through those rough times, but at the in the end, you struggle through it, but in the end, you become successful. Yeah, absolutely. You go through those tests so you can have a testimony mm-hmm. uh, for yourself or to share with others. To so we all can do this as a community because hey, we all have those different things that happen inside of our life. Yeah. And if I'm able to share with you, hey, this happened to me too, mm-hmm. then it can help you as you are going through it. So absolutely. That's awesome that you provide that counsel for yeah. the people that you work with with your new business. Now, mm-hmm. I 
I know you're you're opening the, the business or have the business going where you're doing mm-hmm. the consulting. Mm-hmm. And I saw somewhere that you are um, have been nominated to be an author of the year. Yes. Uh, that has to be exciting for some of the things you yeah. got going in the future. Yeah. It, uh, you know, I, I, I really give it to God because I say you just never know where he's taking you. So with my books and my book that's coming out, I was nominated as one of the authors of the year. So okay. I, I, I'm i telling people, please vote for me. Please vote for me. It's on LinkedIn. It's on Facebook. Okay. You know, because I want to be in that space, too. I mean, we're going to get rewarded anyway. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, that's that's exciting for yes, me. Yes, yes, you know? definitely, definitely. Uh, also, I'm in, I was part of a magazine last week, uh, Ethereo Magazine. Ethereo, Ethereo, magazine Mm -hmm. that's on my facebook page as well okay okay that article as well yeah we'll make sure to go out and visit wanda's uh social medias and their linkedin or facebook and her Mm -hmm. website we'll get you all that information in a few minutes here but we want to talk about you i know you got the being an author going on what are some of the other things that you have uh in your future that you you want to share with us well i do mentoring i do do mentoring in the middle schools okay um here in um in aqua kennesaw and uh I want to help young girls okay. uh, be able to have that self-esteem confidence. And that, I think that's why it's helping me as well. Because with my books, I actually went through, my daughters read my book, and they said, Mommy, you need to go to therapy. I'm like, I don't need to go to therapy. What do I need to go to therapy for? Mm-hmm. But actually, when you go through this, writing a book, you actually build things deep down inside, so it brought it out. So I am going to therapy. Okay. Um, that's helping me get to that next step of my life. So... Um, having that and then being able to get out in the community to do speaking. That's mm-hmm. another uh, mm-hmm. thing I'm going to be doing, speak, more speaking, mm-hmm. um, webinars, okay. seminars, uh, whatever I have to do just to get the word out. Okay. Say, you okay. know, I'm there to help and what can I do to help? So motivational, right. motivational right. and also educational. Right. That's awesome that you shared that with us. And I truly do appreciate you sharing about the therapy because mm-hmm. it's very similar to what you're doing when you're counseling your your people that are coming up under you. Absolutely. Um, it is talking it out, you know, discovering mm-hmm. some things that you may not even known were there. Yeah. And then getting in front of you and then working through it from yeah. there. So, yeah, you know, I definitely appreciate you sharing that part now. Mm-hmm. With Burn the Ship, we definitely talk about the businesses you've shared with us about Legal Shield, mm-hmm. being an author, being a mentor, mm-hmm. uh, helping counsel these business business coaches. Yeah. Let's just say now that you have legalized everyone. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've gotten all your mm-hmm. uh, New York Times bestseller books going on. <laughs> what would you do if you didn't have to be working and helping? What is it that you would do for yourself? I would, well, I'm a travel agent too. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> I love to travel. Okay. I love to travel. Um, but, I, you know, as far as sitting down, not doing anything, I was just talking mm-hmm. to one of the young ladies. I said, I, I, you know, I, I feel like doing it. I do do it sometimes because sometimes you need to take that time for yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I have been traveling a lot this year. Okay. I actually um, went to Hawaii where Legal Shield sent me and my husband to Hawaii. Nice. With the, the performance club that we, uh, we've done. And also um, a cruise. I just came back from New Orleans. Okay. And I have six grandchildren, so I babysit my grandchildren. Okay. And I'm going to tell you why this is a funny story, because I took my two-year-old and five-year-old granddaughters to a skating rink. Okay. I haven't been on skates in 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> How'd it turn out? How'd it turn out? I was on the carpet. So oh, I was, my goodness. I was on the little thing that uh, my oh, granddaughter did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was right, helping right. them, and they were helping me. So okay. so just, just being able to be accessible to my grandchildren. We'll mm-hmm. be going to North Carolina uh, end of November to babysit the other four. Okay. okay. So that's what I was doing. But I'm going to tell you one thing I told my daughters. Mm-hmm. Only way I would babysit is if you're on my calendar. Okay. You got to be on that my calendar. I tell the clients too. You got to get on my calendar. Yes. You yes. Know, in order yes. to be able to uh, have that time, that special time that I want with each one of us. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. as far as what I what I be doing, I'll be doing what I'm doing now. Okay. Just going around. So, so we we got that traveling is going to be what you do. Mm-hmm. Tell us that destination spot that is just at the top of the list may you may not have been there you may have been there what where is that place paris in paris okay i okay. want to go to paris. i want to see the eiffel tile okay okay so, okay yeah. 
Next year, uh, hopefully, we actually get to go on our trip to Mexico. Okay. Uh, Port Port I can't say it. Port okay. Tavala. Okay. Uh, that's another trip that Legal Shield is planning for. So, okay, nice. Um, oh, so you already planning on going on the leadership? I'm planning. Trip. On, I'm oh, look. I'm putting it out there. <laughs> you know, God help me get that, that yes, trip. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's a good deal. <laughs> hey, listen, I tell everybody all the time. You know, when you have those goals, you have to set them. First of all, you got to write them down because if you don't write them down, they're just ideas. Absolutely. But then after you have them written down. You have to speak it. Mm-hmm. You have to speak it. You have to speak it. This brain that we have up here yes. is one of the powerful, most powerful tools that are ever been created. Absolutely. And if you uh, say bad things are going to happen, yeah. just so happen you are going to attract bad things. But Absolutely. if you are putting that goodness out there in the world, it will mm-hmm. come back just because your powerful tool Absolutely. will do it. So well, let's let's put it out there. Let's get you on to Mexico I'm putting, for I'm sure. I'm putting it out there. And I actually have a, I, I do affirmations every day. Okay. I share on Facebook and stuff. And, and also myself, I, I, I do inspirations uh, in the morning mm-hmm. to make sure, like you said, put it out there. Mm-hmm. You got to put it out there on my mirror. I tape it on my mirror as far as uh, what I have planned for today. And that's what's been taking me through my success. Okay. The okay. last five Got to be retired from IBM in five years in okay. December. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah. Well, that's a good deal. Now, what I want you to do is uh, share with the people how mm-hmm. they can get in contact you for any of those services that you have to offer. What's the best way, social, website, email, phone, What? how, okay. how can they get you? Okay, so you can get me, and I want to make sure I actually have my uh, billing, but you can get me on my website at WDWandaD. W D Pearson P E A R S O N Associates dot com. Okay. And my email is Wanda at W D Pearson Associates dot com. Okay. Um and I do have a bitlin and I'm gonna actually give that to you as well. But in order to get through my Fire M program, you have to actually put this in the website, H T T P S colon slash slash B is and boy, I's and I, T's and Tom dot L is and Larry, Y is and Yellow slash five m capital m system not with an s on it just system s y s t e m s e e m i'm pronouncing s s y s t e m um that way you can connect with me and you get a, a, a you grab your prize okay that prize is right actually getting me to help those small businesses to get set up the right way okay um as well as my books are on my website i've asked it to shine and uh the impact of one voice and also my book that I'm doing that you're now. Creating now. I am doing now. Okay. Yeah, so if you you can contact me on that and my phone number six seven eight seven six one five seven eight one. Give me a call. I would definitely love to help you. And if anybody that you think that can u- utilize our services, okay, I would okay. love to help. Well, that's a good deal. Now, uh, th- of course, the name of the podcast is Burn the Ship, right? Burn the ship, yes. Now, when you uh, were getting done with IBM. Mm-hmm. You could have just sailed off into the sunset, but Mm -hmm. what you decided to do was burn your ship Mm -hmm. and go into business for yourself. Right. Now, why would you say that the entrepreneurs, why should they burn their ship Mm -hmm. and go all in on their business? Why should they do that? They should do it because you want to build a legacy. Okay. The legacy is the most important thing because you can leave corporate wherever you are, you know, your job. But you got to keep yourself going just so you can be remembered for something that you left behind. Mm -hmm. I mean, life is not promised to us. So having that legacy, and I knew when I decided to leave IBM to get into my, even though we uh, we have Legal Shield, we actually, it's 24 years we just celebrated with Legal Shield in October. Um, I knew I wanted to do more, and that's when I created my WD Pierce and Associates. So create something for yourself. Create something that you know you can leave behind to your family, uh, you know, your, your business as far as you want to make sure you leave that as a legacy. But just keep yourself going because that's what keeps you young. Okay. Okay. You know, if you sit down, that's when you get older. That's you right. Keep that's going. I've heard it all the time. The moment you stop learning is the moment you start to die. So, Absolutely. And so, your mind start wondering right. and then you said, okay, what am I doing? So Those idle hands. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. Exactly. Exactly. Well, that's a good deal. Well, I definitely appreciate you sharing that with the entrepreneurs. Now, me, whenever I do burn the ship, mm-hmm. I always give my guests mm-hmm. the last word. So the last word can be a poem. It could be a song. It could okay. be whatever it is that you want it to be. So why won't you uh, share with us what Wanda Pearson's last word is going to be? Okay. I'm, I'm just looking for an affirmation. Okay. Um, my last word is to get out there, explore. Don't sit down and do nothing, right? 
Um, get uh, get something that you know you enjoy, that you love doing. And if you actually are leaving a company, but you say, I've always wanted to do this, I've always wanted to do that, um, talk to me. And we can get that out because that's your passion, whatever your passion is, because that's what I'm all about is making sure we bring your passion out because your mind is, like I said, your mind is a terrible thing to waste mm-hmm, is mm-hmm. what they say. But I want to share this uh, affirmation that I have. I am allowed to be me. So I am allowed to be me to who I am. I am the same way I am today as I was yesterday. Okay. And uh, I just want to make sure that you remember that too. So always have a positive not a negative. The positive people who carry on and people will always remember you for your positivity. Awesome. Thank you so much for that last word. And we truly appreciate you coming on, burning the ship and being Thank a guest you. with us. Of course, if we can help with anything, please let us know. And today we had Miss Wanda Pearson. Well, thank you. You're thank welcome. you for having me. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Thank Thanks. you. <laughs> All right. Cool. You do good at these things. You're acting like... What?